Our Soto tasting tour begins with beer. Here we are at Ghost Fish Brewing. It's one of the few breweries located in Soto area. And they're well known for their gluten-free beers. They offer samplers. You can get four different beers, four ounces each. You can pick whichever ones you want. But Ghost Fish serves up more than just beer. Yeah, they're a little bit more than a tasting room, you know, it's a gastropub, so they have things like their ghost fish and chips, which the fish are battered with gluten-free batter as well. They have a large seating area, it's a great place to hang out after work. Cheers. Across the street, you'll find something stronger to sip at Westland Distillery. Westland is cool because they specialize in single malt whiskeys which is kind of unusual in the United States. And here they use barley. They take advantage of Washington State's large barley crop to make single malt whiskey. While the whiskey is made in the back, you can enjoy some up front in Westland's cantilever room. It has a lot of wood paneling. It's got a cool vibe. There's leather seating, there's cool bar stools. It's unusual to have a cocktail flight at a distillery tasting room. The cool part about that is that you get to taste how the spirits are when they're mixed with other ingredients. Finally, if you are over the moon for wine. We are at Elsom Cellars, which is one of the first wineries to recognize the potential of Soto to be a beverage destination. <laughs> yeah, they specialize in red wines only. Everything is Washington State fruit. You can get a flight of taste. You can get a glass pour. You can purchase a bottle as well. This feels like a great, cozy place to hang out. Okay, and so that is just really a small list of all of the tasting rooms in Soto. For an even bigger list, check out Julie's article in the December issue of Seattle Magazine. I will do that. That is very cool. And